Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out a rather cool drive enclosure called the Stock Plop. A rather odd name, but it's a pretty cool product. And what this does is it takes your SATA SSD disks and turns them into external USB 3 drives. Just by popping the drive in and connecting the USB 3 cable on the back here to your computer, and it will mount up as any other drive would. Very fast, it's got UASP support, and of course works over USB 3.0. It'll also work on USB 2, just will be slower on USB 2. We'll test out its performance in a minute. Uh, what's nice is that you can eject the drive on the computer, pop the drive out, uh, and pop another one in without having to reconnect the cable. So it is very convenient, especially if uh, you're always swapping disks around like I am. So this is a very useful product. About $32 as you see it here for the metal version. Uh, there's also one in wood, and I think they've got a carbon one too. Uh, it's available on Amazon in uh, the UK and Europe, and it will be coming to Amazon in the US also. I'll put a link below uh, in, the, in the video description so you can find that uh, when it is available. They are selling them on their Indiegogo page. Uh, so this one, again, is $32 to start and about $42 or so for the wood version. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind is that this is a 7 millimeter opening here. That's the, the largest drive that it supports from a height standpoint. So although this blue drive here is the same uh, two and a half inch form factor as this Intel drive is, you can see that the height on the blue drive is a lot higher and therefore will not fit in the sock plop here. So you can't use uh, these kind of drives. You definitely want to measure and make sure that uh, you have a maximum of seven millimeters in height uh, on your drive before you try to stick it in. A lot of them, uh, like this Intel disc, are actually that seven millimeter height, but they put on an adapter to make it fit in traditional uh, drive enclosures. So uh, many times you can just pull that adapter off, like on here I can unscrew the adapter and get myself uh, the right form factor, but this one of course isn't going to support that. So pretty simple to use, just slide your drive in and uh, get going. And that's what we're gonna do right now because I'm gonna do a quick speed test and we'll see how this performs. All right, our stock plop is uh, working away here and you can see the performance we're getting also is very, very nice. This is the fastest drive I have in my repertoire at the moment. Uh, 400 and something megabytes per second on both the writes and the reads, which is a very good score on this drive. And I especially like the convenience of it too because I use all of these SSDs for video editing and I'm constantly uh, swapping drives back and forth. And this one's actually running faster than uh, some of the Seagate Thunderbolt enclosures I've been using. So this one might become my new editing platform of choice just given uh, how nicely this is performing here. So this is a very convenient way to uh, very quickly swap your SSDs back and forth, especially if you are like me and are constantly doing that. So I really like the way all this works. You just wanna make sure, of course, that the height of your drive will uh, fit inside the enclosure. And also remember that uh, because you're not sealing your drive in this thing, the only thing holding it in is the connector. So I would say when you set it up, uh, treat it like any external drive, uh, put it down on the surface and leave it there and then uh, pick it up after you are done working with it just to prevent anything from happening. It's not loose. I mean, the drive really does hold itself in there pretty well, but uh, you know, a lot of enclosures seal drives in for a reason to prevent an accidental disconnection. And I think you definitely want to be careful when using this, but uh, certainly it is uh, very fast, very small, and priced at the right price point too. This is Lon Seipen. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.